Welcome to this video on consolidating data in Microsoft Excel using the consolidate function. So this is a nice quick tool you can use, a nice quick trick to pull a load of data from different tables into one table. Even when it's messy and it's not coordinated, you don't have to do it manually, you don't have to copy and paste. You can use the consolidate function and pull it all in in one go. Now, my tables in my examples are always nice and small and easy just to make it really clear what that process is. But obviously, if you've got much more data, then this is going to become a lot more helpful for you, make you productive and make you look like a real whiz in Excel as well. So you can pull information out and consolidate information together really quickly and nicely. So let's have a look at what I've got on my document right now. In the top left hand corner, I have my tab where I want to consolidate all of that info. I've got months across the top and I've got different products that have been sold from a training point of view are down the left hand side. So then I've got two, three different tables, not two, three, I was going to say two then. I have three different tables for products of different amounts that have been sold in January, February, March. And there's a different set of products in each one. So it does add a little bit of complication. If I wanted to copy and paste that data, I'd need to be doing it very manually. But let's use the consolidate function to pull this in. Now, before I do anything, I need to make sure I have clicked into the cell in the top left-hand corner of where I want this data to be entered. So for my example, it's A1, and that's where I need to be clicked into, because that's then the system's gonna know that's where it needs to populate the data. And obviously I need to make sure the tables are set in a similar format as well, otherwise it's gonna confuse Excel. So you can see, all the tables have got the products down the left hand side and the months across the top. So I do close my ribbon down so I can see much more of my spreadsheet. So when I click on the data tab, it's just going to open up my ribbon really nicely. And then I'm going to go to the right hand side into data tools and I want the consolidate function. Now, just remember, if you're not quite sure which one it looks like, just hover over the functions and it will tell you exactly what they do. And once you find the consolidate, you can select it and you'll get a pop-up box and the function will say sum, that's absolutely fine, you can leave that as it is. And then I need to put the references in. So I need to select all three of these different data points. Now remember my cell is already selected to tell the system where I want that data to go. So I don't need to worry about that. But what I'm gonna do is go down and select my January box. And then in the box that's popped up, I'm just gonna select or oh, add. And then I'm going to do the same for the February one and add that in. And then finally the March one. And obviously if you have more or less, then you just need to do this for every different data set that you have that you want to consolidate into one place. Before I do that, I just need to look at the use labels options and you can see it says use labels in top row. I've got labels in top row and that's fine. Use labels in left column. I've got those as well. So let's tick on both of those and then I'm going to click on OK. And there you go. The data's popped in really nicely for me. You can double check and see Teams in March is 1,200. Teams in March is 1,200. So that's pulled it in really nicely. And then it's populated that really, really, really nicely. So one to definitely have in your back pocket if you need to pull a load of data together, rather than having to go in and do that manually, really time consuming and really frustrating. And so easy to get wrong as well, because it's the user error then you can use a function like consolidate in Microsoft Excel to just help you be more productive, speed up your workflow, and then carry on with your next task. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.